Active people are taking a serious look at your athletic wear, since the apparel industry contributes 10% of global emissions and is the second biggest polluter of our environment. One outdoor apparel brand that is often talked about as being sustainable is Patagonia. So we had to ask, how sustainable is Patagonia? The first thing you see when visiting Patagonia's website is a message about living sustainably or how to help support our ecosystem. In fact, it took us a minute to realize we were on an e-commerce site. But that's okay, the menu quickly reminds us of their product offerings, including their used apparel. And to understand the sustainability of Patagonia, we must assess their product's life cycle and each stage's sustainability. 87% of Patagonia apparel contains recycled material. Their organic cotton comes from regenerative farming practices. They're using factory floor cutting scraps for a number of their products. They require their supply chain to follow a strict code of conduct, and they visit them to make sure. Over 80% of their sewing is done through fair trade, and a higher percentage of workers make a living wage, as compared to other apparel companies. Patagonia promotes recycling of their plastic packaging used to protect garments during shipping. Their distribution center sends them to be turned into plastic lumber. And if we talk about lifespan, Patagonia products are considered slow fashion that lasts longer. Their worn wear program extends the life of their apparel by two years. Patagonia also promotes buying used, and their worn wear program keeps refurbished and slightly imperfect apparel in their product offerings. To determine if Patagonia's products are truly sustainable, we have to look at how they're made. Are factory emissions monitored and actions taken to reduce them? Does Patagonia keep material waste at a minimum? Do they use non-toxic chemicals that don't damage the environment? We need to know these to determine how sustainable Patagonia really is. Patagonia goes out of their way to explain how they use eco-friendly materials and fight to reduce their manufacturing impact on the earth, even though they don't have to share this information since they're not a publicly traded company. Patagonia is a privately held company, so they aren't required to share information on their manufacturing, but they do. When it comes down to transparency, Patagonia is ranked well on the 2021 Fashion Transparency Index, which gave them an overall transparency rating of 51 to 60 percent, which is higher than the majority of fashion companies rated in this index compiled by Fashion Revolution. They also ranked 71 to 80 percent on their policy and commitment to sustainability. So how sustainable are the materials that Patagonia uses for their products? While we didn't find a list of all the materials Patagonia uses, we did discover that most of their products say they have eco-friendly content, which is at least a start. However, the materials they talk about the most are polyester, plastics, cotton, wool, nylon, and spandex slash elastane. Most of their products contain 100% recycled plastics, and they're working to move away from polyurethane, a form of plastic which they use for waterproofing. Now let's take a look at how sustainable the manufacturing process is at Patagonia. In the apparel industry, manufacturing is the biggest cause of climate change inducing waste and emissions. From wasted fabric on the cutting floor to the chemicals used on materials and the carbon output from operations, these all have a huge impact on our environment. The 2021 Fashion Transparency Index ranked Patagonia at 61 to 70 percent on their traceability, which means they're pretty good at sharing information on where their products are made and where they source their materials. Patagonia works on being transparent about their operations and provides details on their Where We Do Business page of their website. Currently, Patagonia works with manufacturing partners in 16 countries, which includes the U.S. Patagonia does better than most apparel companies by supporting fair employment and trade in their supply chain. 87% of their products are fair trade certified sewn, and 39% of their factories are paying living wages. It is also important to know what Patagonia does to reduce their CO2 emissions. The fact that Patagonia uses factory floor scraps and recycled content is a big way they reduce manufacturing emissions caused by the production of raw materials. They recognize that 97% of their emissions are caused by their supply chain. Here are some ways they're continuing to reduce CO2 emissions. In the U.S., Patagonia uses 100% renewable energy, and globally, they use 76% renewables as a source for their electricity. Their use of recycled fibers reduces emissions as much as 80% compared to virgin fibers. Their denim is dyed with what they call advanced denim technology. This uses 50% less electricity, which emits 25% less CO2 into the environment. With a goal to be carbon neutral by 2025, Patagonia is way ahead of other product manufacturers in fighting to reduce emissions. 
Patagonia uses 100% organic cotton and is focused on sourcing mostly regenerative organic certified cotton, which is grown with farming practices that heal the soil and not damage it with chemicals. They're a Blue Sign Systems partner, which traces the path of materials and their chemical use and eliminates hazardous chemicals in manufacturing. They are members of Green Chemistry and Commerce Council, GC3, which promotes the use of green chemicals in manufacturing. Nearly half of plastics are made for product packaging, and while some packaging is necessary, most of it isn't. Since plastics are made with fossil fuels, they can't be easily recycled and take hundreds of years to break down. They're a huge contributor to the carbon footprint and waste caused by product manufacturing. Patagonia actively works to recycle the plastic bags used to protect their apparel during shipping. Their distribution center recycles through a company that turns them into plastic lumber, and they encourage their customers to also recycle them. Having sustainable products also means making them durable. It's estimated that 64% of garments made end up being disposed in landfills within a year after purchase. So it's important to know if Patagonia makes their products to last, so people keep using them for a long time. Patagonia's apparel is so durable, some people refer to them as slow fashion, as their products seem to last forever. They don't support consumer activities like Black Friday, which pushes the buying of more stuff. While some apparel companies may not consider it profitable to encourage less sales, that's not Patagonia's business model. Patagonia instead promotes long-lasting products that cause minimal impact to the planet because they don't need to be replaced as often. While we did find some negative reviews about their customer service, the majority of reviews about their products were quite positive. The lifetime of Patagonia's goods is something that consumers appreciate. No matter how durable a product is, it will one day no longer be useful. When it comes down to apparel, it's critical to avoid having it end up in landfills, which reports say is where nearly 80% of our clothing eventually goes, meaning that only about 20% gets recycled. Through their worn wear program, Patagonia is doing everything they can to keep their products out of landfills. Throughout their product pages, Patagonia tells us that 87% of the items they produce use recycled materials. Their worn wear program is said to extend the life of textiles by about two years, reducing the amount that ends up in landfills. Moving forward, Patagonia continues to look for ways to encourage the recycling and reuse of their materials. Patagonia has also improved its animal welfare policies. It now has a formal animal welfare policy aligned with five freedoms and has clear mechanisms to implement. Patagonia uses leather and exotic animal hair and states that it sources wool from non-mule said sheep. Patagonia's down is accredited by the responsible down standard and the brand does not use angora, fur, or exotic animal skin. Global animal welfare organization Four Paws called out Patagonia for its inhumane treatment of birds in the past, but the label was quick to respond. It now works side-by-side -side with the organization to encourage humane practices industry-wide. Patagonia isn't fully perfect and still has work to do to become a fully sustainable, carbon-neutral brand, but they're way ahead of other companies in the apparel industry and are continually working to do better. While it's easy to be skeptical that Patagonia really is planet-friendly, especially since most of the information we found is provided by them, there's no way to deny that they put their money where their mouth is. Their activism and proactive approach to sustainable manufacturing is clear, and frankly, very exciting. In fact, we believe that if all product manufacturers were doing as much good for the planet that Patagonia is, we could win the war against climate change. Well, that's it from this video. What do you think of the sustainable practices of Patagonia? Share your thoughts by commenting below. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and share this video with your friends to help spread awareness. Also, consider subscribing to our channel for more interesting videos every week.